Hey guys, and welcome back to Persona Q2. And in this episode, we unlock everyone's ultimate personas. Maybe, I don't know. Honestly, doing this is so convoluted and stupid. I've no joke spent three days trying to figure this bullcrap out. But I think we got it. And to actually unlock everyone's personas, we need to go to the second floor. Yeah, look at that crap. Look at all that. I ain't, I'm not gonna get into this in the second this episode. Screw that noise. We're gonna do. We're gonna step a toe in. Only one toe. And then we're getting the crap out of here. And then we're gonna do the boss gauntlet. It's gonna be sick. Maybe. I don't know. I'm being optimistic. What can I say? But Theater District Two. Woo! Has a lot of bull crap going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and sound positive, but it's not that great. So we got the fans. That's cool. Nothing new there. But what the crud is all this? Huh? Up. Uh, hold on a sec. There's not any wind blowing here, where you are, but the reading is telling me that there is. I wonder why. Is it possible that this film's blocking it? I think you're right. That film acting as a windbreaker right now. I make Fuka sound more robotic than I guess why. <laughs> that would mean you could end up being blasted away by the wind, if not for the barrier. Film that shields us from the wind, eh? Maybe best for us to draw this on the map, just in case. Oh, <laughs> Yusuke makes another symbol for the windshield. Yeah, and that's the final one of the game. Ooh, I can't believe we actually used all of them. So I'm just gonna change that real fast. Hold on one minute. Uh, I think that's all of them, is it? It looks good to me, screw it. So yeah, this is the mechanic of the rest of the cinema. Don't really know why they chose gigantic fans as like the main mechanic, but here we are. And speaking of the mechanic, there's a switch here. Whoa! Joker, look there. This part of the floor seems to have some special function. Do you think we're supposed to step on it? Gee, I don't know, mister! Literally the thinking emoji as a character? Let's try it out! Yeah, let's do it! Stop, Akihiko. Don't meddle with things that we do not understand. <laughs> and frankly, you don't understand a lot. Hmm, but I'm still awfully curious. Maybe this has something to do with that device we saw earlier. <gasps> hey, Chie, why don't we try jumping on this? <laughs> uh, does that seem like a bad idea? And we weren't just told not to do that, yeah? Yeah, but it seems so fun. <laughs> Doesn't that just make you want to do it even more? Or is it only me, god dang? <laughs> uh, well, um, if we find no other path, I suppose we could give it a try. Then that's a good point. Joker, we'll leave the testing up to you. Yeah, I don't I don't give two dumps anyways. We're gonna just <laughs> completely ignore it because ah oh, dump no I can't ignore it because we cannot progress and we desperately need to so we got to go back Yay, and if you step on it Something will happen. So did anything happen? Yes, because I literally just said so well, It doesn't seem like anything's changed. Well, let's ask the person that is literally her job to do this Okay, just a sec. Hmm, Fuka Rise, what's your take on this? I think the air's changed a bit Mm-hmm, I feel it too. Maybe a change in the wind direction? Well, what do we not do now? Where else could we even look? Could this have something to do with the windshield we saw earlier? Just a hunch, but Joker, why don't we check it again? Boy, if you don't... You ain't like I wasn't already gonna do that. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound very pessimistic in this episode. Real talk. Unlocking ultimate personas makes no sense. Okay, so some people are saying you have to do every single uh, special screening. That's a lie. You don't actually have to. You just have to do a uh, 37 out of 40. It makes no sense. But basically, to unlock the ultimate personas, you have to do special screening 43, 44, and 45, and I think 46. I don't even know, frankly. The question then is, well, how do you unlock those? Oh, you just gotta do every stinking special screening. So now you know a little bit of my frustration, but basically, I'm almost done. We need like one more special screening, but there's only special the only new ones we can get access to are inside of here. So yeah, I had to just come like beeline straight to this area to unlock this special screening. Hopefully the last one I'll ever have to do, but so many movie theaters. She's the one who made all these, right? She said it was something given physical form. I mentioned the collective unconsciousness too. That makes an unconscious. It's a kind of like a dream, huh? Unconsciousness desires lie buried within human hearts, totally separate from their conscious minds. A dream only shows you a flicker of that unconscious will. It's like a message from your own mind. Well, 
Uh, maybe a little too deep for amateurs. What the, <laughs> I know you guys are all stupid, but you're remarkably well informed. Where did you learn all this? Uh, I don't know. Uh, God, uh, it's common sense, really. You're an expert like me. It comes naturally. <laughs> Wait, how do I know this? Weird. Ugh. Sometimes I just don't know about you, man. And now, a completely uncorrelated mission. The Lost Butterfly will be unlocked. And uh, I gotta go do this bullcrap or we can't unlock the ultimate persona. So I'm getting the dump out of here and doing just that. Now, a, people, a couple people have expressed that, man, Johnny, I love these videos so much, dude. I wanna see these special screenings too. Yo, more content, the better. And I feel you, dog. but this is the most boring crap in the world. Here's what we do. And they literally give you a synopsis. I guarantee the synopsis is more interesting. This is definitely reused content. I'm not the biggest fan, but it's also not the worst. Anyways, we gotta find a butterfly in the Hokari uh, musical number. That's just about it, yo. This special screening is boring, so we're going to abridge it. And all right, number 37, the lost butterfly has been cleared. Now we have enough special screenings to unlock the ultimate personas, but believe it or not, we still have to do more special screenings. So here's the deal. When we first defeated Kamoshida Man, we got a key item called the Sooty Film, and we literally never talked about it. Mostly because I forgot, but partially because I wanted to do all of these boss fights in the same episode to make it uh, kind of epic, for lack of a better term. So here we go. Sooty Films. And this is what the dub is this thing? Everyone, I apologize deeply for the long wait. I've studied that film you discovered and come up with some theories. Uh, cool, lame, lame on me, girl. Not literally lame on I don't want Minato to kill me. Uh, well, please keep in mind that this is mostly speculation. But in the special screening question, Akira engaged in battle as requested on its ticket. The film was left behind by the shadow defeated by Akira's might. In other words, I hypothesize that his power is directly responsible for the film's appearance. Okay, but like, that, that didn't give us any new information, the crud. My, have you still not realized? No, <laughs> I refer to the limitless possibilities slumbering within you. We know it as the power of the wild card, and those with this power of the wild card never gain such power without reason. In other words, that film is a key, or one meant to draw out further possibilities from within you. Sick, dude. I don't know what the crud you're saying, but I'm down. All right. Hmm. That seems like a bit of a reach to me, but let's suppose this film actually is a key to his power. Akira himself doesn't seem to have changed much. How do you explain that? Crap. <laughs> For the sake of answering this query, allow me to offer- what'd you just call it? <laughs> allow me to offer an idea of my own. Theo! Theo, come here at once! Theo! Theo! Do not make me get the soybean powder. <laughs> what the? That's enough, sister! Even the mere mention of it I can feel my tongue shivering, drying in a lifeless dust. That kind of PTSD is that, dude? What'd she do to you, man? I don't want to talk about it. Goodness, what a pleasant surprise to see you all gathered here. So, sister, what did you need of me? Dio, surely you have not forgotten that you are one who governs power. Uh, why, certainly not. Uh, I, I, I totally remember that. <laughs> However, I may be dressed. I take pride in performing my duties. Well then, how? Have about with them right now. Uh, uh, about? You want me to fight Akira and his companions? Indeed, naturally. There's no need to hold back. Of course, I have the same of you as well. Please fight as if you wish to kill him. <laughs> uh, well, there's no option. You're dead. But why do you want me to kill your brother? That's messed up, girl. Yes, this is ridiculous. Look. They're all struggling to keep up with you, sister. Oh? Are you back sassing me? I didn't know you had such an attitude problem with you. <laughs> uh, no, no! Believe me, there was no uh, variety of sass intended. Akira, I truly apologize if this suggestion is too sudden or brash. However, I believe this battle will bear fruitful results indeed. This is but a step of solving the mystery of that film and delving to the possibility of the wild card. This is for the... Power of the wild card? How is fighting Theodore going to solve anything? I shall explain uh, happily further once you've beaten the crap out of Theo. <laughs> Come now, and I shall witness it all. Theo versus...
well, everyone. Round one, fight! What the? Wow, Zabby's hyped. <laughs> well, I'm sure you know by now, once my sister seizes on an idea, there is little point resisting. Would you do as my sister says and have a bout with me? Bring it on! But I'm not gonna pull my punches just because I'm overleveled. Understood. I shall go prepare myself as well. Let us meet in the Velvet Room. Okay. And it warps you directly there. So hope you're ready. <laughs> it would appear that all actors are present. Feel those clothes. You're so hot. Uh, uh, this? Well, this is a rare opportunity for me. Etiquette demands I wear the proper attire. But you're not our enemy, Theo. Fighting you just feels wrong. Please do not let that bother you. After all, this is no mere fight. It is a formal bout. Let us battle with no hard feelings. I shall be giving this my all as well. Yeah, you're going to die, dude. <clears throat> I confess I'm relieved to see you warmed up to the idea, Theo. Perhaps we simply have a natural inclination to this sort of thing. Natural inclination? <gasps> What's that? We preside over power. Normally, we simply observe as you walk your path. But the stronger you grow, the more certain a hunger to battle you and taste your power ourselves. My sister's command certainly surprised me, but now I realize I long for the thrill of battle. Whoa, 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 whoa. That line was straight out of a post-game super boss monologue. Futaba, you gotta like chill out. Dude. <laughs> Is this like Omega Theodore SSR? Now, let us begin. Please hold nothing back. Yeah, you did, dude. <laughs> I'm very confident in this fight. Yes, allow me to bear witness to the full scope of your power. Well then, here I come. <laughs> I have debuffs and nothing else. Yeah, this dude is gonna die. You're meant to fight him like the second you meet the P4 gang. And I didn't do that, so look out. Well then, everyone, I, Theodore, will be your opponent. Allow me to witness your strength first. Yeah, yeah you're... <laughs> so, this is... God dang, I almost feel bad for him. But this is basically uh, the challenges you have to do to unlock your ultimate personas. Frankly, I would have preferred if this was like the super boss of the game, but it kind of is. Oh, he, he dodging though. Okay. You got some smooth moves there, mister. We're going to have to take care of that with some debilitate. But real talk, guys, I could like give you like, here's the stinking strats, yo. If you've been following this playthrough, you should literally be a god of this game. Nothing should be even remotely difficult. Oh, you got voice acting. For 34 damage, you're going to be like, it ends now. Yeah, I don't know, dude. That was, that was 30. Theo always gets the, oh, no, 52. Dang, that's crazy. Bro. I healed. More. Wow. So, yeah, that should pretty much tell you what the crud's about to go down. He is going to die. And you could argue, well, John, it might be more difficult if you don't use, you know, the strategy you've been using the whole game. Nah, dude, it's. It's not that tough. <laughs> like, at <laughs> 54! That was even mind charge or fully debuff. Get out of here, bro. Where are your sisters at? Look at that Look at the little effect he has on, like, the floor. All that dust is like... Vroom, vroom, vroom. Theo, we know you ain't that strong, dude. Come on, now. Dang it. Why is that, like, the running joke here? But I want the battle go on for a little bit. You know, I want to show some of his animations off. You know, I never... Technically fought him solo before on the channel, so I guess this is your screen time. Don't screw it up. I see. Um, you, you fascinate me almost as much as popcorn, but this is nowhere near the extent of your power, is it? <laughs> you got jokes. Hey, Theo, you, you already know, dude. You already know what's about to happen, don't you? Also, I realized you could do this now. After, like, what is this episode? Like, 30 something something? And I realized you could press, like, the left and right to get to the top of the menu. My bad. But you can't really knock him down with criticals, or else this will be legit the easiest crap. Wait, crap. He can bind my strength. Crap. Don't. Do not. Do okay, he didn't do it. Oh, GG. Let's get on to the next. <laughs> Magnificent! So this is your power. I have not witnessed it for myself. Crap. <laughs> I need to change my drawers. <laughs> yeah, sorry, buddy. Nothing less than incredible. I accept my loss. Yeah, yeah, that was... <laughs> Come back. You gotta hit the waist, brother, if you're gonna stand against us. I'm glad to indeed to hear that. You've 
grown quite strong, more so than I anticipated. So are you quite finished, sister? Why did you ask for such a bout? Um, <clears throat> the film that looked sooty is now glowing faintly. Wowzers. Hey, the film's all shiny. It's faint. Yes, but how oddly beautiful. It's just as I thought. When you first acquired that film, it was nothing more than a simple piece of junk. But through its bearer, displaying sufficient power, I believe it will regain its original shine. I see. So that was your intent. I thought you just wanted to have me harmed. Akira claimed victory against me, and in doing so displayed great strength. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, you said this film's related to leader's power of the wild card, correct? How about it? Do you feel any different? Uh... No, not really. <laughs> that was a walk in the park. Hmm. I have to say, I'm not seeing much has changed on the outside either. Grr, I'm quite flummoxed. <laughs> Could my judgment have been wrong? No, that cannot be. You mustn't lose hope, sister. I battled them as an arbiter of power, and in doing so, the film clearly underwent some change. Uh, so at the very least, your conjecture was close to the truth, yes? True. There's various possibilities for this. Perhaps this isn't the only film of its kind. If we collected more... <gasps> we found this film after a special screening where we needed him to fight, right? I could see there being other screenings like it. Maybe also requiring specific people? For a moment, I gave in to despair. Yet now I see a world of possibility opening upon me. Well then, let us wait until we find another of those screenings. Possibilities are limitless after all. Uh, she swings back fast. She also swings very fast. In any case, you and your allies have put a marvelous display upon. Your bout against Theo was separate from the special screenings, but I've prepared a humble reward for you. Please accept it later as a token of gratitude from we who govern power. Whoa, for real? Thanks a lot, chick! <laughs> no thanks necessary, but they are appreciated. Nothing pleases us more than watching over your growth. Indeed. I must thank you all as well. But don't do go a little lighter next time, please. So, Theo, how shall you reward them? Uh, um, you govern power, just as I do. Surely you have some kind of gift to offer for their troubles. Uh, well, this is all so sudden! You're not going to embarrass your sister, are you? Hop to it. I know. How about this? I shall give you, uh, one of my greatest creations! Something I've made with the utmost care. Well, we're getting a certified Theo masterwork. So what is it? Why, nothing less than a masterpiece. I present the pride of my craft, the velvet style artisanal hot dog! Ha! Look at that bun, dude. It's all crusty. Ugh. Uh, uh, um... A hot dog? Your masterpiece is just a sausage in a bun? Yes. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, uh, it's wonderfully suited to pair with watching movies. Please, try one today. I ain't buying your crap, yo. We got plenty of hot dogs. Got anything else on the menu for real? Yeah, this is, totally feels like an infomercial. Maybe he missed his calling as a salesman? I was very particular about the ratio of meat and the level of bun toastage and the optimal ketchup volume. I, it's been a hit with my sister as well. I'm certain it, I, it shall not disappoint. You need to change a career, dude. <laughs> sister, I believe you uh, robbed the entire batch of hot dogs I just finished making earlier. Would you donate some on my behalf, along with your reward? <sighs> Thank goodness, a crisis has been averted. You asked at the perfect moment. Fortunately, I have one remaining on hand. I present it to you. Just one left. Don't tell me you've already devoured the rest. Now, as this case has been neatly wrapped up, let us call this gathering to a close for now. I will continue to investigate the true nature of that film. In particular, I shall remain on the lookout for special screenings that demand someone's participation. Well then, until next time. That was a bunch of bullcrap, dude. I didn't get a hot dog out of this or any EXP. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, I got like one. Sick. Wait, what's that Ace of Cups thing? Oh, dumb. Would that be nice to have for the whole playthrough? Yes. You can now increase your persona stock. 
Thanks a lot, Jimmy Amazing. My bad, I didn't know that was a thing. Anyways, the second we do that one, because we've cleared out 10 special screenings. We gotta do one, two, three, four, five, six. It can be any 10, you just gotta do 10. You can unlock another, and that's gonna give you uh, another sooty film. So we gotta go to Junessic Land, beat up a shadow, easy as pie. Let's get it done. And okay, after slapping a line in the face for roughly, I don't know, 45 seconds, we get the Tyrant's Bead. And also, we get the option to talk to Elizabeth again about another sooty film. Which is what we're gonna do. Hey there, so what the dump is this thing? Well, it seems everyone is here. Let us immediately move to the topic at hand. The film you've acquired is connected to the myriad of possibilities of the wild card's power. Details on its usage are unknown. But while it seems dark and obscured upon first discovery, with an appropriate display of power, you can restore it. Lost brilliance. Well, wait, who, who is this voice? And such a display is best achieved by battling one who rules over power itself, namely us. How intriguing. Eh. Margaret? Good day to you all. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> Elizabeth has already filled me in. I would be more than happy to lend my assistance as well. Okay, okay. What do you mean by assistance, though? Are we going on a date? Like, what's the? Indeed. <laughs> oh heck yeah! I mean, your next bout won't be against me. You needn't worry. As one who rules over power myself, I'm sure I'll approve a worthy opponent. Uh, it's not so much about the worthy opponent thing. More like a can we survive thing, you know. I can see you're all grown stronger. Since your bout with Theodore, no we didn't. <laughs> Come at me, as if you wish to kill. In turn, I shall respond with all my might. You, you, you don't gotta do that, no, what? Uh, so sexy, I know, right? But oh, so dangerous too. This femme fatale is gonna be a powerful foe. I'm ready to do this whenever you wish. Come speak to me when you're prepared. Uh, let go, like. I'm, I'm, if you're down, I'm down. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> Eager are we? Very. Well, please come this way. Truth be told, though, Margaret doesn't have a lot of personality, but, like, you know, she's, she's pretty. And every time she's in a spinoff game like this, she's hilarious. So, like, you know, uh, anyway. Now then, allow me to watch over this battle as well. I rarely get a witness to my sister's full power. The very thought of it gives me chills. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll have the chance for about ourselves one day. Whoa. Oh man, they protected another spinoff. They tear this place up. But forget that, you guys better be careful. She's gonna give you a heck of a fight. Futabu, do not gush. Ever since I first arrived here, I've been watching you very closely. Even at the mercies of fate, engulfed in despair, you still shine bright. It has been most fascinating. And somewhere in my heart, I confess I've been waiting for an excuse to test you myself. So... Let us begin. Let me see your souls ablaze with light. I mean, you could you could just, you know, just come up. You can't just come up and say that to me right before we about to throw down. God dang, now I kind of want to hold back, Margaret. You ain't fighting fair. Gee. Here and now, I faced you as an opponent. I wonder how much I can accept, expect from you. I mean, I'm going to literally do the same exact strategy I do on everybody, but god dang it. All right. <laughs> anyway, so Margaret significantly stronger than her brother but that's still not saying a lot oh yeah i got this skill i need to talk about this so solemn's kiss is uh really broken read that crap high chance of all those binds sadly you're probably not gonna get agility bind and it does cost a lot of sp but dog it is strong crud dude ne never mind <laughs> but no it's a very powerful skill not the best bind in the game that definitely goes to one of our detectives. I know we got a couple of them, but, you know, I'm going to keep to myself which one it is because I don't want to compliment him. Dang it, I already screwed up. But yeah, Ketchy's overpowered. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> but not yet. He needs his ultimate persona, or the upgraded form. And god dang, girl, you still going easy on me, I see. Holy crap, but still, here's the deal, right? I'm super overpowered for these fights. There is basically no risk at all of losing. So... Not really super exciting, but at the same time, hey, it might be, I don't know, to you guys, but I'm still gonna like just try and make this as fast as we can, because you can't catch me, because I'm the Persona Man! Ha! A attack, goat thing! Yeah, that showed her! I do really like, though, that all of her personas are still incredibly attractive Persona characters. 
She's kind of shallow in that regard, but so am I. So who am I to judge? Is that all? No, I didn't think so. Your expression alone makes that plain to see. Now let's continue. Okay, you yes, for lady, got that. <laughs> um, a new addition, which I find absolutely hilarious, though, is uh, Narcissus. And god dang, it is just... That is still to this day one of the funniest, like, personas in the whole game. I don't know if he has a 3D model in P5 or not, but god dang. Dude just shows his butt. And that and that and that's his power. That's Mary Karen to the max, dude. Cracks me up, but... Oh, oh crap, I don't think we've seen this one. Before she even attacks, she's like, Joker, can I do 800 damage in one fight? I will. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I really like that one. Oh, what? That just damage to me? Since when? The dumb. Okay, didn't know that till today. That actually procs Shura Tensei. Oh, dumb. Here he comes. This butt flames, I guess. Don't know how to feel about that, but uh, yeah, you're dead. Sorry, lady. Seen the post game, I guess. <laughs> Truly. Wonderful. Oh, stop it. You're gonna butter me up, Mog. I love her. It's not a joke. Anyway, we're done. Hmm. And so I have lost. I felt your power resound through my whole body. I never guessed you'd excite me this much. Oh my god. You flatter me, but uh, yeah, it was fun. Let's do this again sometime. Yes, indeed. So much so, it's a pity that it's over. Well done. Now, what of the film? Uh, looks a little, it's glowing a little bit, but not too much. Whoa! This one's all shiny now! That means we did it! Eh. The two pieces of film are shining brighter together now. Whoa! Hey, what's happening? Are they resonating with each other? The glow quietly ebbed away. Bummer. Huh? It's back to how it was. Lame. Yeah. But there was a clear reaction between the two of them. Yes, I think we can conclude that gathering and activating more of this films is bound to have some effect. Hmm. I'm glad I could help. I think I will also watch closely to see the possibilities of the wild card for myself. I'm pleased that things are going smoothly. Now, we shall wait until we acquire another ticket specifying its cast. Still, it was all fairly mysterious. I've been wondering myself, what could be the purpose of these special screenings? What is generating them? It's true. These screenings seem oddly suited to our circumstances. Do you think someone's watching us? They both look at the screen. <laughs> Yukiko-chan, you don't have to say it like that. Perhaps you'd be better off not thinking about it too hard. As you proceed through these various movies, you'll continue to grow as a matter of course. And so you will find budding new possibilities, granting you power to define your own fate. Cherish the fact so that you will never falter on your path. Okay, whatever you say, pretty lady, I'll try. Yes, I hope you do so. If you feel you've lost your way, Come and see me. Will do. Now then, since you've successfully made my sister cry mercy, I have a wonderful news for you. Yeah, what up? I could hardly let you leave empty-handed after you've provided such a stimulating diversion. You've done so much to thrill me. It's only fair that I give you a reward in kind. Whoa, seriously? Uh, what? When she says it like that, oh man. I've been waiting for this kind of reward my whole life. Here we go. Whatever you're thinking, it's not like that. The only reward you're getting is a swift kick in the butt. <laughs> I hope I'll meet your expectations. Make sure to pick it up from Elizabeth later. It's an item that should help you further refine your power. I hope you make good use of it. Okay. Well then, I believe the draws... <laughs> that draws our efforts to a close. <laughs> Please visit again if you... Uh, a moment, Elizabeth. There should be another reward for them. Hand it to them at once. What? What? Will we get one more? My, I, I had, as they say, plum forgot. <laughs> I suppose it slipped my mind while I was watching the battle. Naturally, it was purely an accident, not a device attempt to uh, pilfer it during the long conversation. Now please accept this. Another hot dog. Why? Why is there lettuce on it? That's kind of, I mean, is that relish? What's going on there? Uh, the dump. 
This is another hot dog. <laughs> we got one when we face Theodore, too. Guess hot dogs are a pretty big deal here. I suppose that's understandable. <laughs> they are impressively tasty for one of Theo's creations. I hear he puts great time and effort into them. Indeed, it gets to the point that we fight over each one. Even Elizabeth is partial to them, aren't you? Yes. I must say, I'm surprised Theo manages this. Truly, they are the greatest treasure of this domain. <laughs> what? I have less on hand than I thought. It's about time Theo made another batch. Ah, seeing it in person only makes me want one more. Truly, it's the hottest of all possible dogs. With a little theoretic, I mean, that is to say, polite reminding, I'm sure he will make some more. Well then, farewell. What's up? Uh, uh, come back, Elizabeth. My order must be made first. <laughs> this girl's crazy. God dang. But don't you just love them? I know I do. God dang. The, the wardens, though, uh-uh. They kind of scare me sometimes. Anyways, Ace of Wands. We can increase the XP bonus when finishing a battle with an all-out attack. Also, we can hold up to 18 personas. Holy dumb. Yeah, that wouldn't be really nice to have. Early on, just throwing that out there. Anyways, another special screening where we have to take Minato to beat a boss, which is incredibly, incredibly easy and boring. Let's just do it as fast as we can, all right? Okay, another special screening done. Another kind of lackluster mini boss, which means we can talk to Elizabeth about the Sooty film again. What's up? Well, I believe we all know the drill by now. You have acquired a new piece of film containing hidden possibilities of the power of the wild card. Accordingly, I have found accomplices to assist in restoring its light. <laughs> We're not here for your sake. We happen to find ourselves bored. That is the only reason we're indulging you. Ooh, double tsunami blast! I'm in heaven! <laughs> hey, thanks for coming by. Let's fight. I don't know. Uh, there's nothing to appreciate. We already said we're not doing this for you. If we emerge victorious over you, there is something in it for us. What? Hey, Elizabeth. You better not forget your promise. We put those prisoners in their place, and you got us more hot dogs. It's about hot dogs! Why is every... Why is every game I play? Food is a central conflict. I don't... What? You bet your sweet pippy. Feel free to take as much of your share and my share as you like. She said sweet pippy. Hear that, Justine? I want an absolute, unquestionable, perfect victory. I understand. I vow that they will be destroyed. On the snake in the name of soft buns and savory sausage everywhere. <laughs> Hot dogs again, man! You guys are obsessed. However, for it to count as your victory, they must clearly state we give up. I have no issue with that. Making the prisoner admit defeat won't not be difficult. They'll run home, tails between their legs. Oh my gosh, she's confident. Now, inmate, are you prepared? If you want to back out, now is your last chance. Let's do this. Let's go. I got this. Well, you've got spirit at least. Let's see how long it takes to break it in. Now let us begin. All right, all right. You talk big, but come on. What's your endurance stat like? How much can you bench, Caroline? 2,000 pounds. Oh, crap. Come now, inmate. You better not hold anything back. Wait, this is Caroline talking crap. My bad. We're practically bending the rules to have this bat with you. How do you like that special treatment? I've never seen you so high in spirits, Caroline. Suppose you can be as enthusiastic as you like, as long as you don't trip us up. Well, I'm, I'm not enthusiastic. Look at you. You've been talking a lot more than usual around him. Um, I can't imagine what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm picking that. The cop's gonna... Okay, uh, are you two done yet? We gotta do this. I gotta date with Margaret Chan. Shut up! This is all for your fault anyway. That's correct. Your very presence is disconcerting. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, sounds like asphyxiation to you. <laughs> well, this is all well and good, but this introduction's running a tad long. I appreciate that the Sundari stick is a bit on a slow burn, but may I ask that you begin soon? <laughs> you don't have to tell us twice. Come, Caroline. Our dogs await. <laughs> Understood. It's time we taught you a lesson, inmates. Yeah, okay. So this is one 
getting up there with the difficulty, but they're still, you know, they're just kids. We're gonna kill them. It's not a big deal. Well, now. We'll see how long you last. Raise your weapons. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't using them. I'm just gonna, like, sp okay. So here's the deal, right? Caroline totally resists physical attacks. Giant pain in the butt. However, Justine does not. So definitely go for her first because it's like the 40th time I've done this. Physical attacks are overpowered at this state of the game. You definitely want to do that. Let's get Solemn's kiss in there. And I just re oh no, I did. Okay. I was about to say, I gave Minato. Oh, dang it! I gave Minato uh, Mitsuru's persona just to kind of like speed things along, or at least the sub persona, right? I thought I forgot, and she was going to come in with no sub persona, which would probably make this borderline impossible, which would really suck. But you guys get the drill by now. Even if an enemy. Res oh, dumb! What are their themes, anyways? I guess she's like. I mean, they're all, like, either cute things or, like, dudes, I've noticed. Or are they? I don't really remember, but... With our current party setup, we can really only go for one tactic. So if they kind of dodge Haru, we die. But if they don't, we're probably going to be okay. I actually don't even know if I have any reviving items, so uh, that sucks. But hey, we'll try Solemn's Kiss again. If we can find the agility or the magic of any of them, that'd be super. But chances aren't that high, because they're like bosses, and bosses kind of have like a higher resistance opposed to normal. Ooh, we got agility and strength. Get owned. I mean, she doesn't really, she kind of prioritizes spells, but you, you get what I'm saying, right? Oh, no, Rogue Gemini, come on. You don't even want to attack again, Ham Ham. All right. So far, so good, though. They're barely doing anything, and I like that. I, I mix them up so often, though, and I feel kind of bad, because like, I don't know. People really enjoy these characters, which is legitimately something I didn't see coming. I thought, like, huh, they are not going to be as epic as Margaret. As far as, like, actual characters go, they're infinitely better than Margaret, and that hurts to say. Margaret doesn't get enough love is what I'm trying to get at here, but the Velvet Attendants, they continue to get better and better. So, okay, we got that bound. Let's just take care of her. This is pretty much the game plan against these two. I could next turn try it. Ooh, Magic Bound. I'll take it. Next turn, try and get a uh, poison circle going. Use, like, poison breath on um, Joker. It doesn't even freaking matter, though. God dang it. We're just going to tear him up. And also, Heaven's Play? Real talk? I don't know. I feel like it kind of sucks. Maybe it's just me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Too bad you missed. <laughs> Guardians of Power? Get real. Y'all can't even guard in the sinking sandbox. Get out of here. Where's Margaret at? Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you gotta say. <laughs> Such a jerk. <laughs> but they're so freaking strong. Can anyone even get mad at me? Yes. And they shall in the comments. I read them. Anyway, <laughs> let's just get another black spot in there. And uh, do we even need poison circle this time? I don't think we do. Oh, actually, let's uh use binding aura just to like, continue all the debuffs. That's a good idea. God, we gotta get rid of that frog thing, dude. That's a little 40 persona. Dude, we can have a little 60 personas after this, just throwing it out there. But yeah, significantly less damage, almost half. Dang it, I really need to start landing debuffs. I don't know what's going on today. Maybe it's something I ate, dude. Not too sure. I ate the hot, no, I didn't eat hot dog. I ate that last week. Why do you need to know this information? I'm not quite sure. I do feel kind of bad though. I might, dump. I might have skipped over some additional dialogue because I just beat them up too fast. If I did, I don't know. Crap, what am I supposed to do about it, yo? Uh, I believe they... Uh, what are they exactly weak to? I know she is weak. Not to electricity, but I think it's nuclear damage, actually. Because it's different. Because in stinking... What's it called? The main game series, they're most definitely not weak to anything. So it throws me off. But let's try this link attack. We're not going to get... No, okay. Definitely wasn't that. Crap. <laughs> Naughty! Why is that so funny? Not bad. Yes. I suppose I must commend you. Well, I'll, gi I'll give you one thing. You see, Gauls are stronger than Theo, crud. <laughs> Looks like he can actually beat us. I'm impressed, in me. What a surprise. I didn't know you had amassed such power. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty good, but let's be honest. It was mostly Haru. I just... I'm, I'm just on the bench, really. <laughs> I see. Yes. You've proven that you have many fine confidants at your side. <laughs> so you've been taking our advice to heart then. I guess you haven't just been playing around. No, I've been doing that too. That was a splendid bout. Both sides gave a splendid showing of power. Now then, 
As for the film, the third film, we look at it, it's all sooty, but it's glowing. Dude, all right, there it goes. The three pieces of film are shining even brighter together. Whoa, I think all of the three of them are resonating. There's something really mystic about all this. The shine quietly went away. Dumb. <laughs> it went back to how it was. Was that still not enough? But from the looks of it, we're on one step away from the truth. Yeah, indeed. I shall look forward to the next ticket specifying a cast. Now, you are due a reward for your troubles. A splendid item that will be useful in fierce battles provided to you by the impertinent duo. The heck is it? God dang, no hot dog. Don't get the wrong idea, inmate. It's just that we, we can't have you dying out in those movies in between anticlimactic. <laughs> this is no gift. Merely clutter we no longer have the space for. Use or discard it as you please. <laughs> they're just keeping up the act. One day they're going to go full dairy. It's going to be awesome. What? Oh, I almost forgot. I also have your hot dog prepared here. I shall go to the victor. <laughs> Thanks. How humiliating. Of all people, the prisoner gets one? That was supposed to be our prize. Wow, she's pretty worked up. I didn't know she liked those so much. I almost feel kind of bad taking it. Yeah, we got plenty. You you can have it. I don't care. I don't eat this crap, yo. They're nasty. Uh, of course it is. It's your prize. You won. And it's not like I need it or anything. Hey, uh, leader, do you have any... Yeah, I gotta be so tough on the kids, dude. <laughs> You're embarrassing us, Caroline. To begin with, we've already secured our share, and we made sure to hide where, where, where would-be thieves can never find it. What? Uh, well, um, that's uh, right. We've still got a mountain left for us, anyway. <laughs> You're lying. Uh, what's that about? Uh, beats me. Now then, everyone, thank you for your hard work. It seems we've barely a step away from uncovering the film's secret. Perhaps the next special screening with a specified cast will present the climax of this mystery. Is sure better. I will be waiting. Heart a flutter in anticipation. Until then, I bid you adieu. Uh, all right. <laughs> God damn. I feel like Elizabeth's having a lot of fun with this hot dog quest. I feel like she could just give us ultimate personas right away, but she just refuses to. And Th th that's all right with me, I guess. I, God dang it. Anyways, we got Ace of Swords. We can now carry over the boost state into the next battle. Pretty dope. And 20 cards. Wow. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. You can just keep holding on to sub-personas. Won't even matter. And now the final special screening we need. Number 45. Refrain. Book of Enoch. I wonder who that's going to make. It's it's Metatron or Sandalphon, they brothers, but defeat the new shadow in Hakari. Gladly. Let's do this. And alright, after yet again another very mediocre filler boss, we're finally ready to give Elizabeth the last sooty film. And fight her. Yeah, she's last. Go figure. Well, everyone, the time has finally come. You've acquired four pieces of film. Of those, three have regained their shine, and only one remains sooty. So once we display our ability to one last arbiter of power, Akira's power of the wild card will change somehow. I don't know if I get all that, but what it comes down to is that something crazy is going to happen, right? Loosely speaking, I suppose that's about right. Now then, answer the following. Uh, you surprised me is this crucial moment of fate who shall appear as the next governor of power uh what's she getting all worked up about does she even need to ask it's her <laughs> no i think this one's more about the showmanship i can't hear you everyone for the people in the back scream it as you loudly as you can well then you're the leader here let's have your answer you should probably just answer dude okay uh elizabeth Elizabeth? Elizabeth! It's you! You're the ki- I mean, my, what a shock! You are correct. I suppose you aren't a leader for nothing. <laughs> I, Elizabeth, shall strive to prove myself worthy of this honorable role. 
Then, let us go to the Velvet Room, and we sh- Oh, but before that, what, huh? Where is she going? Is that the Kamoshida sign? What's she doing over there? <laughs> Retrieving something from behind it, apparently. Oh, hot dogs. Wait, that's where she's been hiding hers? Well, she, she's gonna eat them all right now, huh? Oh, she's coming back. Wow, that was fast. Pardon my stepping away. I am now fully charged and ready to fight. Once you are likewise ready, please speak to... I can't burp on a man, dang it. That's all you're getting. I don't know. Did you even hear that? Crap. That was... That was a good one. Yeah, we're ready to go. Let's tussle, Liz. It's time. Understood. Then let us move to a more suitable location. Okay, so I, I talk crap about the, all the other ones, but I'm like appropriate level, like the level you're supposed to be at for this battle. And I'm scared, okay? Like really, she is tough. Welcome to the Velvet Room. <laughs> it's been a while since I said that. Mm. I must say, donning the uniform has done wonders to prepare my mind. Elizabeth, you're getting serious, huh? Yes. Naturally, I can only thank fate for bringing us together. With gratitude. I shall make this a fierce bout indeed. What an immense presence. I've never seen her like this. I am she who governs power. If you wouldn't overcome me, then show me the full scope of your strength. Yeah, we're gonna win this. Should you succeed, I know without a doubt that you shall discover new possibilities within yourselves. Well, don't go easy on us. I've been talking crap this whole singing episode. Here we go. <laughs> Unfortunately, I lack the talent for such restraint. Truly, I cannot remember feeling such elation. Not since I first began serving my master. Somehow, you bearers of potential have defied time and space and now stand shoulder to shoulder. I shall give you an honorable fight, a battle befitting one who governs power. Now then, here I come. Yeah, I don't got, I don't, uh, we're dead. That's, <laughs> like, that's it, dude. It's over. Sorry, guys. I don't know if I can win this, but I'm going to try. Well, then, it seems the time for conversation is over. Now you can only focus on wielding your power to its fullest extent. <gasps> this one's going to be careful. Yeah, I know. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, Haru strats ain't even going to work, like, for real. We're going to have to take it a little bit slower and just try and whittle her down. She is weak. To fire right we don't have fire link anymore so that's gonna put us at a hardcore disadvantage so we gotta get the poison over no dump come on be cool Ugh. that is the worst possible rng god dang it so okay we're bound it sucks what are we gonna do i don't know god dang it okay so if remember serves from right she completely blocks ice and freaking i don't know she it's really hard to win, okay? <laughs> we gotta try and get crits, or we're not gonna be able to, I don't even know if we can knock her down. I, I'm thinking about my practice file early this morning. I'm like, bro, did I, what did I even do? I just lost. Okay, god dang it. All right, let's, um, on his turn, I guess go for a, do we even have a, oh, okay. I, I was like, no, I definitely brought Amrita Sodas here. I remember that for a fact, but basically our best chances are just either spam fire, which is Hamako, I think honestly is the better strat with Hamako here. And hope for the best. Here it comes. Jack Frost. I'm dead. Oh, God. All right. Please. Okay. Whew. At least she's missing. That's good. Let's get some. Hopefully get in the boost state with uh, Mitsuru. That'd be nice. We did not get a single crit. My God. This is going to be hell. I am not happy about this. Dump. Wait. Now. Oh, crap. I forgot. She changes her persona. Ugh. Okay. We got to silence her fast. We got to get Solemn Kiss out. Like, ASAP, because eventually she's going to hit our weaknesses, and that will basically kill us. We didn't get a single creak, huh? Okay, that's fine. We can do this. Maybe. I don't freaking know. Oh, my God. What do we even do here? I want to use all these skills in the same turn, but you totally can't. Okay. She's going to switch to being weak to ice, I'm pretty sure. Dumb, dude. This sucks. Oh, my gosh. But I like it, though. I'm happy. We have an actual challenge. I couldn't ask for anything more. All right. Let's, um... It's showing she's weak to that currently, but I don't actually think she is anymore, but I'm still going to go for it anyways. Let's just try and see what we can get with Solemn Kiss. We could do a stun circle as well. You can't actually stack circles, though, so you got to be careful. We're freaking dead. It's over. 
Here it comes. Mabufu Don. Yeah, that's that's crap, dude. No! No! Oh god, we are so freaking dead. Hamako's gotta line guard us or we're it's over. If this solemn kiss does not hit, I'm reset. Okay. That changes some things. She can still cast a physical hit? Yes. But I think I think that's good for us. Alright, I don't know how many reviving items I have. I don't even think I got any more from the, the shop. We can use Hikari's thing outside of battle, but that's not really going to help us here. We do not have any reviving items. We are dead. Oh my god. This is bad. If we don't get poison or some bullcrap, this is... Oh lordy, this is what I was talking about, y'all. It ain't easy out here. God dang it. Okay. Why did I not buy a... Rival beat, son of a gun. Okay, no, I'm doing a challenge run, guys. Check it out. I'm, I'm doing the four-man battle. Ooh, missed me. If that hits Norikami, though, that's not a big deal. Oh, my God. He is literally the Persona 4 protagonist. You can't touch him. He's lightning fast. Holy crud. Okay, god dang it. I'm doing poison twice in one time. Yes, we got it. We actually have a chance now. Holy crud, now I'm hyped. Now we got this. Come on. I'm not doing sure of Tensei, though, until we get, like, kind of lower. But, oh, man, this is such a... I actually like this though. It's a throwback to before. It's kind of cool. I like that. I should warn you. I'm no stranger to this sort of roughhousing. <sighs> this? No, it's nothing. You needn't worry about me. I advise you to come at me as if you aim to kill. Yo, but like you're poisoned, and that is like very deadly. We we we, we time out so you can go to the infirmary. Oh wait, that was in Persona Q1. That doesn't exist here. All right, so Mitsuru, she's good. Do we have any binds up? Okay, magic bound. Screw it. That's good enough for me. Let's see. So she was in. Oh god, I don't remember the sinking pattern, dude. She should be weak to wind next turn. No, I don't know if that's what she's weak to with Ares. Crud, dude. Our defense is lowered. Brain shake coming out. Uh, we're getting low. Crap, crap, crap. That's so bad for us. No. I think Narukami's actually the fastest. If he goes for one of our other characters, dude, we're basically dead. I could stall and just let Poison kill her, but that's like kind of lame. I don't want to do that. I'm gonna see if maybe Hikari can cleanse that um status effect off. Honestly, Ren and Zen and PQ1 pretty cruddy allies just because they cannot use personas. I like the fact. You know, it took the oh dump she got out of that. It took the whole game right for her to be in this state where she could you know cheer. But still, I think it's kind of cool. Sadly, though, doesn't actually get rid of status effects. So we are dead. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just use mini recovery. Screw it. Why the crud not? Um, bro, what does Joker do here? I guess... No, not Rebels Vanguard, because then... Uh, screw it. Whatever. <laughs> I want Haru to crit. Definitely not Narakami, but I feel like that's going to happen. She resists that this turn, though. Screw it. I'm just going to ensure a Tensei. Can, I, can we just talk about how useless stinking... Um, Amrita is on Haru. She's so slow. It's like the only dead skill on her. I was like, oh yeah, Amrita, bro. That's that's a good skill, right? Not if it's the last person in your party. Kind of worthless. Do not, do not hit Haru. Thank God. We are. I'm on pins and needles, dude. I legitimately do not know if I can win this battle. I am scared. Okay. Poison circle again on the first try. Yes. Holy crud. Okay. We just gotta somehow survive this. He hit himself. I'm cool with that. How did he get... Oh, he has a poison sword and poisoned himself. Super. Now Narakami's going to die. Never mind, I made it recovered. Okay, but he's close. Really close. But so is Elizabeth. All right, god dang it. I'm... Bro, I'm scared. <laughs> Let's uh, aim Rita Soda again. Actually, I should do that on Mitsuru's turn because she is the fastest. Last time I checked. We have no debuffs anymore, but that's totally fine. Let's just use one of those. And Haru. You've been our rock. You've been our stinking saving grace this entire playthrough. Please hit it. No! We're dead. We're dead. It's over. Sword Breaker proc, though, even though Narcom is dead. I don't know how the crud that works, but I think we can maybe win if we just get a little bit lucky. How did I not buy items? I'll be honest with you guys. This episode has been a nightmare to record. It's been a nightmare to make. There's some dude outside that once I'm mowing his lawn, it is almost 5 p.m. Wrap it up, dude. I got Persona to record, but you just think, oh, dude. Dude. My luck's turning around. I'm happy about this. Okay, I'm sweating. Literally, it's a thousand degrees outside. I'm not happy, but I am going to be happy because we're about to win. <laughs> it seems I was right. Your spirit is remarkable. However, Remember that misjudging a battle, especially this late, will be a disservice to your power. Oh, the crud you just said, girly, but shoot, you dead as dumb for this next move hits. And swear to God, it better. 
Here we go. She's not faster than us in the boost state. Okay. We won. Thank God. Sorry if that was a cruddy example how to do that fight. Honestly, just do what the dump I did. Maybe we'll get lucky. Well done. Your power is most excellent indeed. Uh. You shouldn't sit like that, lady. That's not good for your back. I'm just saying. Eh, you're stinging invincible. Who cares? Uh, and now, all that remains is disappointment. Did, you, did I hurt your eye? I'm sorry, Elizabeth. Jesus. Not because I've been bested, but because our performance has drawn to a close. Yeah, god dang. You were strong. Holy crap. You sure are something. No. Why well, have some knowledge of this rough play? I am still quite inexperienced. That was a wonderful fight. I felt a fire ablaze in my heart from spectation alone. Sister? I did not know you were here. How can you conceal your presence? Hmm. Yes. I had hoped to see this battle. Not only did I aim to witness the power they've nurtured here, I wish to see what possibilities lie beyond their magnificent display. All right, that film, huh? Yeah. The film that looked sooty is now glowing faintly. Nice. The four films are shining p powerfully together. We have all seven sooty films. We can summon the great dragon. I is it? G A brilliant light floods the area. Dude. And now everyone's final personas have been unlocked. Being reborn as Satan Isle awakens new powers. Rebels Vanguard will return into Revolt Vanguard. Look at this skill, dude. This crap is broke. Wait, it won't let me. Dang it. Well, it's really strong, but here's basically what's going on. The normal passive skills each of the main characters get. You know, Persona 3 hero, Persona 5 hero, Persona 3 hero, again, get enhanced. And holy crud, Minato's gets extra strong. God dang. But what about Hamako? There it is. Messiah will turn into Telepathic Bond. Wow. The Link skills just got even better. But yes. I like just now. Whoa. It's like something changed within me. Is this my... Yes, your ultimate personas. I like how Minato got Orpheus Telos, though, instead of Messiah this time around. That's nice. I, I like that addition. And <laughs> it seems you've all grasped a new possibility. Yeah. It's been a joy and a privilege to witness such a rare sight. If I may ask, how do you feel? A little dehydrated, honestly, but it's incredible! Holy crud! Yes, truly. I cannot wait to see what you can accomplish from here on. Either way, it is a staggering indeed to know you've bested all those who govern power, myself included. <laughs> I'm certain this will be a great surprise. Indeed, to our master, you've done well in coming so far. Though perhaps all this was simply your fate. I wouldn't say all that. I'd say it's thanks to us keeping up with those special screenings. After all, that was where this all began. Yeah, we got nowhere without those things. Makes you wonder who was pulling the strings, you know? Hikari? Would you like to elaborate? Uh, well, I don't know if anyone set it up deliberately. But if I'm thinking about it, I wonder if it's more like the special screenings happen based on your emotions or wishes. I don't know. I'm just guessing, dude. I see. An interesting hypothesis. Our memories did seem to alter the character in those movies we've been investigating. More importantly, Hakari son's movies seem to deeply reflect her own mindset and perspective. So, similarly, the special screenings reflect our own consciousness. Right, like wanting to get closer to everyone or maybe wanting to get stronger. If you wished for all those things hard enough, then maybe they became movies themselves. Yeah, maybe true. It would explain why we learned that unison skill. Tons of my wishes came true, too. I wanted to get to know everybody better, and that came true. Now we're all friends, aren't we? If I've learned anything, it's that you can make any wish come true if you hold on to it with all your heart. You're telling me our thoughts turn into movies? Can't take it anymore. I want a movie where I'm the star with hot babes and a car chase. Explosions, too. Gotta be Michael Bay on that. 
we got enough of your delusions already. I don't need a personal ticket to them. <laughs> In any case, it is clear you've all grown tremendously. In this world of movies, I believe freedom is already within your grasp. Keep striving, and I'm sure you will succeed. Hey, thanks. For not killing us, too. That was, that was kind of cool. Oh, you don't need to thank me. You've come this far almost entirely under your own power. I apologize for not mentioning it until now. But I also have a reward for you. Please use it well. Now, I shall be on my way. Let us meet again at the box office. Holy dump. And after 10 hours of extra content, we have our ultimate personas and no longer have weaknesses. Look at those stats, dude. Strong to just about everything. Hold, what do I want for that? Okay, do not get rid of that. But, dude. Look at that crap. It's insane. Anyways, I'm getting rid of this because, honestly, I don't really care. Holy crap, he gets Heat Riser. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, we're probably gonna use Minato in the post game. What can I say? But for everyone else to get their ultimate personas, you see, he saw his Goemon there. You gotta get to level 55 with him or they won't transform. K kind of a pain, but we have the Ace of Coins. An increased EXP bonus yet again if you do an all-out attack. And 24 sub-personas. Holy crud, I love that. But uh, if we check our stats, god dang, guys. Check this crap out. Check out all, all these sub -person Why the dump didn't m m m lady transform? Crap. I forgot something, didn't I? Dump. I think it's next time they level up. But yes, we, we didn't do every single special screening, right? But a good majority of them. I just want to reiterate how long this freaking took. But I did it for you guys. You just got to clear out all these and you will unlock it. But yet again, unlocking that takes all these. It's kind of a pain like that, but whatever. We did it. We never got to do it again until New Game Plus. I mean, we, we might not have to do New Game Plus. I haven't. I don't know yet, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm sorry. Why are you sorry, Teddy? Chill out. Ain't that serious? Get up on that table. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this episode. We're getting that much closer to finishing this game. But we still gotta like actually explore the dungeon portion. I kind of like completely ignore that in this episode. But next time, guys, on Persona Q2, we're heading back into the labyrinth. I'm gonna kick some shadow butt. See you guys then. Bye.